In Zack Snyder's plans for Justice League 2 and beyond, there were some big revelations. The sequel would have taken a dark turn with the tragic death of Lois Lane, leading to a future where Darkseid corrupts Superman. But that's not all. Based on Justice League 2's storyboards, it would have been disclosed that Lois was pregnant with Bruce Wayne's child. A key figure in Snyder's Justice League 2 storyline was Lex Luthor, who would have played a major role in forming the Injustice League. This league included characters like Captain Cold, Ocean Master, Black Manta, and Dr. Maru. Snyder intended to weave connections from other DC movies, drawing on the original DCEU slate, where The Flash and Aquaman were supposed to be released before a potential Justice League sequel. Justice League 2 was designed to wrap up with the remaining team members facing challenges, setting the stage for a major finale in Justice League 3. Snyder's vision aimed to bring together various threads, creating a dark and intricate narrative that explored the consequences of Lois Lane's death, Superman's corruption, and the formation of the Injustice League. The storyboards and Snyder's insights into his Justice League sequels hinted at a grand and interconnected DC universe. The potential inclusion of Bruce Wayne's child and the formation of the Injustice League promised a complex and emotionally charged storyline that would have left fans eagerly anticipating the concluding chapter. Unfortunately, these plans never came to fruition, and Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3 remained unmade. However, the glimpses into what could have been continue to fascinate fans, offering a unique perspective on the expansive and intricate storytelling that Snyder envisioned for the DC Cinematic Universe. In Zack Snyder's vision for Justice League 2 and 3, the story would have delved deeper into the fate of Amy Adams' character, Lois Lane. The HBO Max release of Zack Snyder's Justice League allowed fans to finally witness Snyder's original vision, which had been significantly altered after his departure from the project in 2017. The reshoots and changes made by Joss Whedon in the 2017 release were not aligned with Snyder's intended storyline. Before the Snyder Cut's release, details about the potential Justice League trilogy emerged through story ideas and concept art. However, despite Snyder's plans for a complete trilogy, Warner Brothers officially decided not to continue the Snyderverse with additional Justice League sequels. In Zack Snyder's Justice League, Lois Lane's storyline changed and the emotional aftermath of Superman's death was explored. Lois, grieving after the events of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, withdrew from her life, stopping her writing and isolating herself. The movie introduces Martian Manhunter, who visits Lois in the guise of Martha Kent, encouraging her to re-engage with the world. Eventually, Lois decides to return to her work at the Daily Planet. A pivotal moment occurs when Lois witnesses Superman's unexpected return from the dead. An amnesiac, Clark Kent, fights the Justice League until Lois intervenes, preventing him from harming Batman. Lois becomes instrumental in helping Superman regain his memories as they return to the Kent farm. Throughout this process, Lois and Clark share a touching reunion with Martha Kent. Towards the conclusion of Zack Snyder's Justice League, Martha regains ownership of the Kent farm, thanks to Bruce Wayne's assistance. As Lois and Clark help Martha move her belongings back into the house, Lois is seen holding a wicker baby basket a significant detail since earlier in the film she took a pregnancy test. Snyder later confirmed that Lois Lane was pregnant. While Zack Snyder's Justice League ended on a positive note with Lois having a happy reunion with Superman and the revelation of her pregnancy, the planned sequels would have taken a darker turn for her character. The follow-up to the Snyder Cut would have explored the challenges and complexities that arise adding emotional depth to Lois Lane's journey amid the superhero turmoil. Unfortunately, these sequels never came to fruition, leaving fans with glimpses of what could have been in the expansive and emotionally charged Snyderverse. In Zack Snyder's original plans for Justice League 2, there was a romance between Lois Lane and Bruce Wayne that had to be taken out due to Warner Brothers rejecting the storyline. However, if it had stayed, their relationship would have played a crucial role in the sequels. In the second installment, Lois and Bruce would be searching for Lex Luthor while dealing with tension in their relationship, especially since Lois got back together with Superman. During this time, 
Lois, who is pregnant, keeps the identity of the baby's father secret from Bruce. Superman, however, discovers the truth by hearing the baby's heartbeat inside Lois. As they search for Lex Luthor, Lois uncovers his plan and, with the help of General Swanwick, Martian Manhunter, learns that Lex has collected the three mother boxes. In Justice League 2, Darkseid steals the anti-life equation from Lex, who had gotten the idea to kill Lois from him. Bruce confronts Lois about the pregnancy, but due to their argument, Lois informs him about Lex's plans. The movie ends with Darkseid appearing in the Batcave and killing Lois leading to Superman being corrupted by the anti-life equation and the nightmare reality coming to life. Moving into Zack Snyder's Justice League 3, set primarily in the Nightmare timeline, Lois plays a smaller role until later in the trilogy. Nightmare Batman instructs Flash to tell Bruce of the past, revealing, Lois lied to you, you're the father. Flash successfully travels to the moment after Lois and Bruce's dispute in Justice League 2, by informing Batman that he is the father, Bruce listens to Lois and learns about Lex's plans. Together, Bruce and Lois figure out the Injustice League's plot before Darkseid invades the Batcave. This time, Bruce sacrifices himself to save Lois from Darkseid's Omega Beam. Lois then tells Superman about Lex and the Injustice League, preventing an attack on other heroes. The tragic conclusion sees Batman slowly dying, but his sacrifice takes down Darkseid for good. In a final twist, Lois reveals to Superman that she is carrying Batman's child, which Clark already knew. Instead of being discouraged, Superman finds purpose again and grows closer to Lois and the unborn baby. Justice League 3 concludes with a time jump, taking place 20 years later. As crime rises again in Gotham City, Lois takes her son to the Batcave, revealing his birth father as Bruce Wayne. The film ends with the Dark Knight's son becoming the new Batman, continuing Bruce's legacy. While the planned arcs for Lois Lane in Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3 remain on paper, at least for now, the future of Amy Adams' character in the DC Extended Universe is uncertain. The Snyder Cut is not considered canon to the DCEU, and without specific direction, Lois's fate in other franchises remains unclear. Currently, Warner Brothers is working on a Superman reboot featuring a black version of the Man of Steel, seemingly sidelining Henry Cavill's franchise where Adam's Lois Lane began her DCEU journey. There is no official confirmation about Cavill's future as Superman or Adam's reprisal of her role as Lois. As the DCEU explores ideas around the DC multiverse, it appears that Snyder's vision for Lois and Superman has concluded. Warner Brothers has not provided clarity on Cavill's future as Superman or Adam's future as Lois. The ongoing development of new ideas, particularly those related to the DC multiverse, suggests that Snyder's Lois and Superman may have reached the end of their run. However, there remains a possibility that Adams and Cavill could return to their iconic roles, depending on the direction the DCEU takes in the coming years. If Adams has indeed concluded her portrayal of Lois Lane, it would be a significant disappointment. Her depiction of Lois was widely praised, from Man of Steel to Batman vs Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League. Each appearance of Adam's Lois left audiences eager to see more of the DCEU's interpretation of the iconic DC journalist. Fans hope that Warner Brothers will find ways to continue Adam's take on Lois Lane, alongside Henry Cavill's Superman, even if it doesn't unfold in the planned Justice League sequels. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.